If I'm correct, September 2005 is when the Governor's Commission on uh, Biotech, Nanotech, Biomed, and Bioengineering went into effect. So far as I know, it has not been decommissioned. There is still a secret commission, and I say it's secret because it's not acknowledged. You have to go hunting to find it. Originally put on the books to replace elements of the Small Business Code that the Small Business Operating Code was literally replaced with a gubernatorial commission concerning biotech, bio nanotech, bioengineering, and biomedicine. I contend that this was an intentional effort to develop and test biological uh, weapons on the people of Texas as a way to prepare for offloading of biodata that was illegally harvested from people in Texas and perhaps elsewhere that were in league with Texas, including through its uh, alleged medical sector, including through its alleged educational system, um, in order to develop biological weapons. And I believe and understand that they've distributed these biological weapons to people that are presumably currently sanctioned. They intended to do it just in such a manner uh, as order, in order to leverage the risk associated with distribution of biological weapons to people that were under sanction. It's part of this uh, gamesmanship they have that lets them think that it's okay to completely create fraudulent identity documents and other kinds of uh, access securities fraud and get away with it. As a matter of fact, when I traveled down today, why did I go out? Well, I had already planned at some point to start uh, seeing, you know, do an update. Um, and then when I woke up this morning, I already knew I was on a current that was trying to get me to go check in as part of a schedule. Um, but I chose the places I did for a specific reason. And the one place I chose is because the last time I was there, I literally worked a tax wave off that I was supposed to understand was connected to Heidi Cruz. But when I went there today, the schedule has changed. And what I've noticed is that the Department of Vital Records at the library shut down. And if you go to this place, the scheduling for vital records from the state is closed. But they will issue municipal IDs. The city is issuing, again, fake documents to people that brand them as assets of the city during this time that the Department of Vital Records is closed. I believe what they're doing is they're dumping a whole bunch of really horrible, toxic stuff that's also cross-referenced through what the Texas Supreme Court is doing with all of these continuous child sex abuse cases so that they can use the actual birth documents and the actual vital records as collateral that they are floating or that they are using for other deals, including deals that were hooked up by Abbott when he fled the fucking country like a traitor after allowing unconstitutional legislation to be put into effect so he could go on site to Israel and broker the people of fucking Texas with small business deals connected to the biotechnology sector in Israel. And I also believe that the reason they haven't canceled the Texas Impact Drivers Program, including for teens and young adults, and they haven't created a separate adult program as they were legally required to do for at least two years before I obtained a license, is because they're intentionally pooling the teen drivers certifications, which also means the vital records connected to the obtaining of those certifications um, that you need to get the certificate in order to get the actual driver's license and doing something similar with them that was done to me when I was in high school, which was allowing sex predators who hooked up deals with drug dealers, including drug dealers that wanted high tech and high level weaponry so that they can electronically sexually abuse us all of us that are in that system S mingle in adult entertainment with the child accounts of people that are not legally at the age of consent so that they can create these disgusting child pornography feeds and profiles that they are using as part of their biological weapons paradigms. These biological weapons paradigms are also connected to chemical weapons and processes that I have already seen playing out internationally in alleged negotiations that 
literally, I now understand, took reports I reported to reporting agencies on crime and leveraged them to actually hook up benchmarks for other people who stole my identity personally. And that's just me, right? That's just me. They're still trying to get me to pay for somebody else's uh, phone calls from Africa from 1995, right? Phone calls that were allowed to be charged to me, even though there was no reason for me to call Africa, that has some big black African guy chasing me around and has my whole fucking life. And at various points in time, I'm given the chance to consummate some deal that's literally about illicit black market weapons trafficking. That was somebody's ideation of what was an appropriate role for charity. And they brokered this shit specifically on my first driver's license from the state of Virginia. Now, you know, we are where we are. I understand that deal that was hooked up on my license was connected to a ticket I got in Mississippi. And that was literally the kind of security they used to murder those guys in Mississippi. Those actual American military guys in Mississippi. And somebody set that deal up to try to torture me into agreeing to help participate in this illicit drug weapons, child trafficking racket, right? And that it was literally the currency for that hit came from a senator who should have been responding to a report I sent her about actual national security related matters as opposed to just trying to get me to run a line of finance for her like several other members of the same committee did, right? And none of them have ever responded to that report or any other report. But what's really concerning to me right now is this telemedication shit because I saw how they experimented on kids using telemedication. You guys would do this thing where you would trigger the men that were connected to these women and would aid and abet them in abusing these women. And then the women would be forced to flee to one of your production centers where she was supposed to be reprogrammed. And you didn't help her get her property back. You didn't help her get justice. While she was there, you erased her life or created a profile that you sold to somebody else of stuff from her life you liked. And then you reprogrammed her. You told her to get education. You told her to get housing. You told her to get health care. You told her you would help her with all of these things to sever from her old life and just let it go because it was so abusive and it was so painful. And then she was just supposed to accept whatever you programmed her into. And you tried to program them with me at the time I was there in Pasadena into being an illicit biological weapons cell. They were supposed to get in people's homes. They were supposed to get people's data. They were supposed to fucking fill the forms out and send them to the people as needed. They were supposed to have other people connected to them that actually did the insurance side. And this was a cell model that was supposed to be replicated. And you, you set it up here. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Right? This is how you literally acquire and redistribute biological weapons. And you use children as human test subjects. And your so-called defense industry that you're so proud of in Texas is literally nothing more than an incubator for terrorist cells using biological weapons they test on children. Now, what happens if you're somebody who's actually concerned about security, including cybersecurity, and actually concerned about trying to uh, uh, scale back or decrease or eliminate the propensity or the capabilities to, laugh, uh, to, to, to launder money in order to aid and abet these terrorist syndicates? What happens? Because I'm right here, right? Blue Sky Security? What was Blue Sky Security? It was, that, it was named after the Blue Sky Laws, right? What did you do with it? It's disgusting. You tried to make it into some fucking virtual BDSM porno realm and then tried to extort me with uh, electronic child sex, electronic rape of children. You've been doing this for fucking years, right? I got the fucking codes right here. And here's the problem. Even by your own standards, Texas, again, by your own fucking standards, you did not do what you were required to fucking do. You have standards. You thought you could create a fucking law around torturing fucking children for weapons development and you didn't even follow your own standards. You understand? It's right here. 
you had laws about how to torture children and how to torture women that you would get fucking beaten and threatened with murder or maybe even actually, you know, beaten to the point of near murder so that you could fucking torture us to develop biological weapons and you didn't even follow your own fucking standards. Every goddamn fucking weapon you fucking created using this model since 2005 is defective. And it is a fraud against and in consideration of every single fucking person that intersected with it. And if you got a contract from the Department of Defense, then that contract is fraudulent. Everything about what you did was fraud. And if you used the Department of Defense, and especially if you used any of these weapons or sent any of these weapons to any sanctioned country, it's fucking treason. You raped and tortured your own women and children to commit treason. And you're about to get every one of those fucking contracts collected on your ass. There's no fucking wave offs, asshole. There's no way to fucking pull that and collateralize that and try to take out a loan on somebody else's DNA. You tried. I saw what you did. Everybody's a blathering fucking idiot. That's what you got coming home. That's your fucking bill.